Hey YouTube, Ed here with Jack of All Trades and welcome to another video. So what we're going to go over today is my 10 top favorite tools that I've bought at Harbor Freight. So let's, uh, let's stop with the chatter and let's go right into the video. All right, welcome back. So everybody knows Harbor Freight and everybody has mixed opinions on Harbor Freight and Harbor Freight tools. Fact of the matter is Harbor Freight has actually got a very real purpose and some of their tools are actually pretty legit. Uh, I also find that Harbor Freight uh, is a great place to go for those one-time use items that you maybe need to use one time don't need to spend a lot of money on it and then really when you're done with it you can just throw it away and you're only out a little bit uh, perfect example uh, texture gun uh, when I built this shop I obviously had to do some texturing so I went to Harbor Freight and I bought a texture gun for I think it was about 20 bucks I used it once I textured my shop I I'm not a painter plaster wallpaper sheet rocker that's not my jam I hate doing it so I got done texturing my, my shop here and I didn't even wash it. I just threw it away. A one-time use item. And Harbor Freight has actually got some very good one-time use items. But what we're going to talk about today is the items that I've had for quite some time and have not given me any troubles. So let's go ahead and let's relocate the camera and let's talk about some of these things. All right, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is my compression tester. Now, understand I am not using this compression tester as a full-time mechanic. Uh, I am I am no longer working full-time as a mechanic. I used to work full-time as a mechanic once upon a time, and I've had some really good expensive tools over the years, and some tools are just expensive, and some tools are worth the, the price you pay for them. But I needed a compression tester. Harbor Freight has one. This Pittsburgh compression tester is actually pretty legit it works really well it comes in a fairly nice plastic case it stores easy and it's accurate it, it works and I've used it a few times to check compression on things like snowmobiles ATVs uh, even snow blowers and things of that effect just to verify that when the machine isn't running correctly that I don't have a compression problem because there's something wrong internally with the engine and for $35 this compression tester has actually done a very adequate job for me and I'm very very happy with the fact that I did purchase it Pittsburgh digital caliper again I'm not using this as a in a professional capacity I'm not a machinist and I'm not doing any high high precision machining I'm not building the space shuttle or anything like that here but this caliper has actually proved to be extremely useful for me for what I use it for and what I do with it and as I get older I find that the non-digital calipers or the linear calipers are getting harder and harder to read as my eyes get more and more out of whack and it's just really nice to be able to turn turn this caliper on I can hit the zero button I can go ahead and I can measure whatever I want and it and it tells me and it gives me a good accurate reading on whatever it is I'm measuring and to show you that the caliper does have a reasonably good degree of accuracy it's a piece of paper here it tells me that this paper is two thousandths of an inch thick so that's about right that's about what the thickness of a piece of paper is so it works really really well uh, it'll measure in metric and it'll measure in standard and for about twenty five dollars it's a very useful piece of equipment and it's a very useful tool to have in my toolbox cleaning brushes i find harbor freight is really really useful for picking up things like cleaning brushes things that you are going to use and throw away once it's all said and done and I find that Harbor Freight is a excellent place to buy things like cleaning brushes and that's where I buy these you can buy these in a in a multi-pack they're they're usually really inexpensive if you uh, 
if you if you look you can find them oftentimes in a three pack they'll cost you a couple of bucks a package like that i think it cost me ten dollars for a package like that uh, well worth it as you can see i i just use them and then i throw them away and then i just continue on down the line until the package is empty so cleaning brushes things of this effect you can see i've got brass ones in here there's a stainless steel brush and then there's some nylon brushes i use these for a lot of gun cleaning a lot of times it's for carburetor cleaning or just cleaning the grime off of tight spots when i'm working on an engine or a lawn tractor or something I don't buy expensive ones of these because I just don't see the value in spending a lot of money. So Harbor Freight is a perfect place to buy things like cleaning brushes. Punches. Uh, this is a transfer punch set, and this this is actually this is a this is a punch set that you use to transfer transfer through a hole to make a a divot to start your drilling, so your drill bits don't walk. But you can use these for any number of other purposes. And you can see here, uh, a couple of them have broken off, and I've just repurposed them. I don't throw them away like this is a quarter-inch punch that is broken off, and I use that for installing the, uh, the takedown pins on AR-15s. Uh, this punch right here is the one I use for installing the trigger pins on an AR-15. And they just have a myriad of uses. And again, you don't have to spend a lot of money on something like that. And if they break, you don't you don't cry a river because now you don't have to you don't have to worry about it because you didn't you didn't spend a lot of money on on punches now if you're if you're a gunsmith or you're doing work like that uh, maybe you want to get a more expensive uh, set of roll pin punches or whatever but for 12 bucks I've had that transfer punch set for quite a few years it just keeps doing exactly what I need it to do and when it's all used up I'll go spend another 12 bucks. I think I've had this set for about three years. I have no complaints with it. Things like this are an absolute steal at places like Harbor Freight. Hammers. What is a hammer? It's a blunt force object. That's all that is. Again, I don't see the need to spend a whole lot of money on super expensive hammers. Uh, this is a short-handled hammer. I keep this in my gunsmithing box. I use it all the time and it cost me a whopping three dollars this big dead blow hammer here again i bought that at harbor freight that cost me three dollars this hammer here that's a pittsburgh it's a rubber and nylon hammer uh, again i use this for for gunsmith work and this was probably the most expensive hammer i've ever bought at, at harbor freight and it cost me six or seven bucks again they're they're blunt force objects they're going to get used they're going to get abused and when i use them up I, I just go buy new ones. This this little short stubby hammer here, I've had shoot, I've had this hammer for no less than five six years. This uh, this dead blow hammer here, I've had it for the same time because I bought them at the same time. Uh, this hammer I bought two three years ago, and I use it all the time. And it just they get abused and they get used, and I see no reason to spend a crap ton of money on dead blow hammers or short handled hammers or any kind of hammer for that matter. Because, again, I am not using these things in a professional capacity. If I was needing a hammer on a daily basis or if I was building houses or, or doing metal work for 8-10 hours a day, I might spend a little more money and get better hammers. But for what I do, these hammers are perfectly adequate. Clamps. Clamps. Clamps and more clamps you can never have enough clamps and you can go to some really highfalutin tool stores and spend a lot of money on clamps i don't do that i go to harbor freight and buy my clamps at the end of the day a clamp is a clamp and what does it need to do it needs to clamp stuff and for the money that i paid for these clamps it's just well worth it. Uh, clamps like this, I buy these and I cut them up and I make I make clamps that work with my welding table. Uh, so I go to Harbor Freight and I buy clamps at Harbor Freight. They work fine. They work just like they're supposed to. And you know what? If I have to cut a couple of them up for a special project, so be it. I'm not out a whole lot of money. Clamps at Harbor Freight are affordable and you can just never have enough clamps. So I got a Harbor Freight right here in town. If I need clamps or if I don't have a clamp that I need, I just drive over to the Harbor Freight store and I pick it up. I see no reason to spend oodles and oodles and oodles on cash of cash on clamps that have a name, name brand on them 
when these Pittsburgh clamps or these no-name Chinese clamps that you can buy at Harbor Freight work just just perfectly. I generally give Chinese-made stuff a pretty hard time. I like to call it, say they're made out of Chineseium, which is uh, a Chinese metal that you can only get in China. But you know what? These clamps just work, and I really have no complaints on them. Grinders. I have no complaints about these Chicago electric grinders. In, in a homeowner capacity, they have served me very, very well. I think I've had this yellow grinder for no less than 10 or 11 years. And as you can see, the switch is broken on it, but you can still operate it with the switch down here. It just doesn't have the, the quick release, uh, Just so I'm just very, very careful with it. But the darn thing just keeps on running, and I just I can't kill it. it. It doesn't even get hot. And now again, I'll have to say, I'm not using this in a professional capacity. If I was a metal fabricator and I was running my grinder for three or four hours a day, that might be a different story. But the Chicago electric grinders have never done me wrong. Now, I don't think they carry them anymore. I don't think they're called Chicago or Chicago electric. I think they're branded as Warrior. Uh, I noticed that the $20 Warrior grinder looks a lot like this one with the vents and stuff. It's very, very similar in, in nature. I think it's probably very close to, if not the same grinder, but I, I paid, I think I paid $25 for this grinder and I think I paid $35 for that grinder and they just run and I'm just very, very happy with them. This is the grinder I use on my lawnmower blade sharpening system and for grinding where I'm not going to use it to get a beat up and this grinder is the one that gets the absolute hell kicked out of it as you can see and it, they just keep running. So I have no problem with binding, buying grinders from Chicago or from Harbor Freight. They just, they've never done me wrong and they always serve me well. Allen wrench sets. So this is a Pittsburgh Allen wrench set. I bought this set about four years ago and it, it's still running and it's still working and it still does just fine. Uh, I bought the metric and I bought the standards and I, I forget what I paid for them, but I know it wasn't a whole lot of money. And I, I keep these in my gunsmithing toolbox, and they do really, really well. And sometimes when they get a little rounded off, I just touch them up on the grinder to flatten them back out again, and they just keep on working. So I've, I've never broken one. They always seem to work well. Uh, I've even gone so far as some of the bigger ones. I've put uh, a wrench on them to help me with some torque, and I have yet to break one of these wrenches. And I'm, I'm not particularly easy on them. So these, these Allen wrench sets are actually pretty legit. Pittsburgh tools have actually come a long ways, in my opinion. They used to be kind of crap, and nobody really liked them, but I have no complaints whatsoever about my Allen wrench sets that I've gotten from Harbor Freight. And for the money, they, they just work. I believe you could pick up this whole set of wrenches, metrics, and standards for right around $20, and I really see no need to spend any more than that. Uh, this, this set has really done good for me. All right, this is kind of a twofer, if you will. Uh, this is my Bauer uh, portable bandsaw, portable metal bandsaw, which I actually turned into a tabletop bandsaw. And I tell you what, this thing is legit. It really, really runs well. It's variable speed. It's got plenty of power. It's a little on the noisy side, but boy, it just really runs well. And the other thing I bought with this is I bought this dead man switch. It's kind of nice because you can step on it and the saw runs. And then when you lift your foot off of it, the saw shuts off. I'm just really happy with the setup in general. They, they both work really, really well. I, I want to say I paid $129 for the saw and I think the dead man switch was right around 20 bucks. Some of the best money I've spent a little more expensive on the tool sides, but Boy, I tell you what, I have nothing but good things to say about this, this Bauer saw. It just really cuts nice, and it does exactly what I need, and I bet you I turn the thing on every day. So this drill press was actually the subject of one of my first videos. Uh, I, I didn't pay a whole lot of money for it. I forget exactly what the money was that I did have to give for it. But it, it, it's just been a really good drill press for me. It's, uh, it's a multi-speed. You do have to change the belts on it. If you want more information on it, please feel free to go to my, uh, go to my previous videos and take a look at it. But it's, again, I use this drill press a lot. And yes, it's not perfect. And yes, it's not as good a quality as some of the other drill presses out there. But for your average home garage type operator like what I'm doing, this drill press has really served me well, and I just really have no room to complain about it. 
It's it's powerful. It it does exactly what it's supposed to do, which is drill holes. And I just have no complaints. And if you need a drill press, yet you don't have the money or the, the capital to invest in a very expensive unit or even a mid-range unit, don't overlook the fact that these Harbor Freight uh, Chinese drill presses actually do pretty good job. There are some things about it, you know, like the base isn't isn't horribly stable. It's got some wiggle to it, but in, at the end of the day, it still drills a hole, and it, and it really has just served me well, and I really don't have a whole lot of complaints about it. Yeah, ergonomically, it might not be quite so quite so great, but boy, I tell you what, for the money that I paid for it, it was well worth it, and I actually, I got Harbor Freight gift certificates for Christmas, so I didn't have to spend the the full Monty on it, and I got it for a little bit of a sale as well. I would highly suggest that if you need a drill press and you just don't have a lot of money to spend, you go ahead and pick one of these up. You won't be disappointed with it. The Titanium Unlimited 200 Welder. This is actually one of the best things I've ever bought at Harbor Freight. This welder, I've got a, I've got a couple of videos out on it. I tell you what, this welder is... A rock star in my shop it does extremely well it welds great in stick mig uh, I have not tried the spool gun on it I have tigged with it and admittedly I am NOT a great TIG welder so my TIG welding skills are are a little bit suspect but boy I tell you what this welder just absolutely runs uh, on 220 it'll it'll burn steel like you've never seen it's just for the for under a thousand dollars this welder has really really done me well now when i bought the welder i want to say it was 699.99 when i bought it it's gone up a couple hundred bucks but i still think at eight hundred dollars if you can get them on sale they are well worth the investment one of the best things that you can buy at harbor freight i have not tried the vulcan welder uh, the multi-process vulcan and i've heard it's very very good and if I was more of a TIG welder, I might have spent some extra money to buy the Vulcan because it's got high frequency start, whereas this TIG welder is only a scratch start machine. But boy, I tell you what, I am nothing but happy with the Titanium Unlimited welder. Now, I've had this thing for just a little bit over a year. Uh, I don't know about the longevity of it, but so far in the course of that year, I have had zero problems. And boy, I tell you what, I've welded some stuff with this. I've welded up a trailer. Uh, I've welded up fire rings. I've welded little projects. I welded uh, a go-kart project with this thing. That stand that I've got on my bandsaw, that got welded with this welder. I've welded a lot of things with this, and it just keeps on running, and I've had zero problems. It runs on 220. It runs on 110, so it's dual, dual voltage. It runs with gas. It'll run flux core. It'll run stick, it'll run a spool gun, and it will TIG weld as long as you don't mind scratch start TIG welding. So that all being said, very, very happy with the Titanium Unlimited Welder, Unlimited 200 Welder. I would highly, highly, highly recommend anybody who wants to get into welding and not spend a ton of money, look at this machine because it's been nothing but good for me. So there you have it, some of my favorite tools from Harbor Freight. Uh, I'm not afraid to buy Harbor Freight tools. Uh, Harbor Freight's actually got a very good return policy. If you're not happy with a product, uh, oftentimes they'll just take it back. Uh, the Pittsburgh tools have got a lifetime warranty on them, where if they fail, you just bring them back into the store and they will replace it for you. Uh, they've got an excellent return policy. I, I really am not scared about going to Harbor Freight to buy Harbor Freight tools, and I'm I'm very thankful that I have an actual Harbor Freight retail store here in my hometown. I get in on some of the tent sales and things of that effect. Uh, I have bought, I got a generator that I purchased from Harbor Freight, and though it almost never gets used, I start it once every month, uh, run it for 15 or 20 minutes and change the oil on it. I use it as a backup generator in case we ever lose power in the house. Uh, it's a 6,500 watt generator, and it'll basically run my house within reason. Uh, I can't run the electric driver dryer and the hot water heater and the stove all at the same time. But, you know, within reason, it'll keep the furnace running, it'll keep the lights burning, so and it'll keep the refrigerator going, plus a few extra things. So at any rate, uh, don't be scared to go to Harbor Freight to buy things. I know they've gotten a little bit of, a little bit of flack over the years about not having quality tools. 
their tool quality has gotten better, but subsequently their prices have also gone up. So they're not as cheap as they used to be in many respects. So don't be afraid. If there's something you want me to, to check out with Harbor Freight, like I said, I have a retail store right here in town, and I'm more than happy to go pick something up, do a review on it, and, and let you know what I think about it. Actually, I'm, I'm working up the, uh, the courage to go in and I want to pick up a new air compressor because the air compressor I got, just it just lacks a little bit. It doesn't have the power and the capacity that I want, and to be quite frankly, it is loud it sounds like the apollo 11 rocket taken off it's just insanely loud so i, I want to replace that air compressor with something a little more quiet and something that has a little more capacity and efficiency yet at the same time i'm not willing to spend a thousand dollars on an air compressor so i'm going to go over to harbor freight here one of these days and i'm just going to have to pick up a new one so that is going to be a review coming up but if there's something you want me to check out at harbor freight let me know I'll pick one up, I'll test it out, I'll see how it works, and I will certainly do that. Just leave me a comment in the comment box below. With that all being said, if you're liking this channel and you're liking this content, please, you'd be doing me a huge favor by hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you ring that notification bell so that you get notified of my upcoming videos. And please leave me some comments. Uh, the comments, the likes, the subscribers, they all help the YouTube algorithms and it helps me to grow the channel. And as I've said a hundred times in previous videos, I don't ask for money. I don't have a Patreon account. I just do this because I really enjoy it. I got some great projects coming up. You don't want to miss them, miss out on them. I'm going to build a kitchen table. Uh, I'm going to pick up that uh, that air compressor. I've actually got a welder. Uh, I had a, a manufacturer send me a brand new welder. We're going to be reviewing that. You're not going to want to miss out on that one. That's going to be a really good one. It's either going to suck or it's going to be awesome. It's good. It's one of those deals. So we'll try it out and we'll see how it works. Don't miss out on that. New welder coming up. I don't want to spoil the surprise, but it's coming. Uh, I've got a few projects coming up. So make sure that you make sure you hit that notification bell so that you don't miss them. With that, this is Ed, Jack of All Trades. Thanks for riding along. Thank you for the subscribers. And we will see you on the next video.